Hello Math Champions, today we will go through worksheet 4.1. Hopefully you have already tried all the questions on your own before I go through them. Okay, if you have not, please pause the video and try it first. Okay, let's go through question 1. Fill in the blanks and circle the answers in the number chart below. So fill in the 3 times table over here and then circle the answers over here. Okay, don't forget to do this part as well. Alright, so 1 times 3. 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, 6 times 3 is 18, 7 times 3 is 21, 8 times 3 is 24, 9 times 3 is 27, 10 times 3 is 30. You may ask me how I do it so quickly. It's very simple. I memorize. Okay, so once you have memorized it, it will become very simple and very quick to do. Okay, so practice makes perfect. So now it's time to circle the answers over here. So. 3, and then 6, circle, 9, circle, 12, circle, 15, circle, 18, circle, 21, circle, 24, circle, 27, circle, and 30, circle. Alright, so do you see the pattern here? Do you see a pattern forming? It's diagonal, okay, diagonal. Okay, all right, so let's move on to the next question. This question is extremely simple. So if you have already memorized your three times table, this should be very simple for you. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. That's all, next question. All right, here comes the test on how well you have memorized your three times table. This question asks you to take eight multiplied by three, which is the same as eight fingers on the three times table. Or, as this question shows you, repeated addition, eight threes. So three plus 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 three. Now, we want to do it the fast way, right? So let's do eight fingers on the three times table. Can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's do it together. Three, six, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So the answer is 24. All right, so eight fingers on the three times table gives you 24. Next question. All right, six fingers on the three times table, which is the same as repeated addition, six trees. So three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three, six times, okay? now. How many fingers are we going to do it on? So six fingers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's try that. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So six times three is eighteen. Okay. All right. Next question. All right. Now the question does not give you any drawings anywhere to help you. So you have to do it on your own. Four fingers on the three times table. Three, six, nine, twelve. So. Four fingers on the three times table gives you 12. Next question, three fingers on the seven times table. Huh? What is this? Have you learned the seven times table yet? Nope. But remember our commutative law? Now they want you to apply the commutative law, which is three times seven is the same as seven times three. And you have learned your three times table. Seven fingers on the three times table. What does that give you? Three, six, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So 21. And because both answers are the same, you can say that 3 times 7 is also 21. So both answers are 21. Okay, next one. 5 times 3 now. 5 fingers on the 3 times table. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Very simple. 15. Finally, 3 times 10. 3 fingers on the 10 times table or 10 fingers on the 3 times table. According to the commutative law, it is exactly the same and it will give you 30. Okay? Nothing special about this, it's very simple. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, Math Champions, I'm going to ask you to do this question on your own because you have learned this before. I will only go through it in a very short video in the next lesson. Okay? Try it on your own. I'll see you in the next video.